It's me, Ryan Sokesh. In my spare time, I'm consumed by the past. These are my beautiful and energetic children. Their energy is impossible to extinguish. And this is my wife at the spa. And Boris. But we'll get back to that in a moment. Like every year, we decided to go on family vacation. My wife loves the mountains, and I love peace and quiet. That's why we chose southern Poland. And the first town we visited was Gorlica. What's in Gorlica? You don't know? I kind of do. Alright, let me clarify for you. Most people just don't realize it, but Gorlica is an outstanding place. In the area are five UNESCO World Heritage Sites historic wooden structures from another time. But what really puts this place on the map were the globe's first oil wells in what is known today as the Empty Forest. Surrounding one of the original wells, Magdalena, is an outdoor museum illustrating the innovation and in local history. And if that's not enough, a very dramatic event took place here during the First World War called the Battle of Gorlica. We could pay our respects at cemetery number 91, where 900 of the fallen soldiers now rest. I really want to go to Gorlica. The first sites of the city were magnificent. The city hall stands so proudly. It's actually one of the first things you see as you drive up the hill where the old town of the city is located. The view from the city hall tower, and this is a view that you normally don't get to see. Um, all I can say is that it allows you to be one with the graduation from urban space to the amazing nature that surrounds it. No one could agree on what to visit, so we decided to separate for a while and vacation in our own individual style. History I love it. The museum is mine. There was an exhibition about the battle for Gorlica, which was one of the major battles of the First World War. A ja się przeszłam do parku. I to było dla mnie jedno chyba z lepszych doświadczeń w te wakacje. I moment tylko dla mnie w przepięknym stuletnim parku wokół starodrzew. Przede wszystkim jeden piękny, majestatyczny dom. Oh, what a beautiful lady. I mean, and in this park? The park's beautiful too. Okay, we're moving on. Mama w parku wyglądała jak księżniczka albo po prostu mama chodząca po parku. Ryan dał nam zadanie edukacyjne. Chcemy, żeby dzieciaki miały nie tylko dobrą zabawę, ale coś jednak edukacyjnie z tych wycieczek wyniosły. A tutaj wiesz, co to jest zapomnik? Nie wiem. Jacek Łukasiewicz wymyślił pierwszą lampę laftową. Dziewczyny poszły na lody. To było może do przewidzenia, może nie. Chyba nie smakują mu lody. Smakują. I hit the local museum, the girls ate ice cream, and Kasia went on an amazing walk in the park. What's most important is at the end of our independent visit to Gorlica, we were all satisfied together. There's so many interesting facts about Gorlica. However, on vacation, children want what they want. So, there's an incredible tube slide that uh, stands in place of a ski run during the summer. This thing is wild to say the least. The kids had a blast. Then there were ladies from the local district that helped instruct them as to how they can safely descend. It was a lot of fun to watch them and they left with a lot of endorphins, so. 
a ja sobie wykorzystałam okazję do kolejnej wycieczki solo i pojechałam na rowery. Trasa nazywa się przeuroczą, nazywa się śnieżne trasy przez lasy. Pierwsze co poczułam to był zapach lasu iglastego. Zimą te tereny są doskonałym miejscem do uprawiania narciarstwa biegowego. W okolicy jest na to 80 km tras. Przez śnieżne trasy przez lasy można dotrzeć do wyludnionych wiosek łemkowskich, starych cmentarzy, cerkwi, unikatowych kapliczek, a latem to dla mnie wymarzone miejsce na rower. Dosyć się przy tym zmęczyłam. Była to, jak dla mnie, trasa dosyć wymagająca. Dużo górek, doświadczenie przepiękne, jak dojedzie się do jednego z punktów widokowych i wokoło widać przepiękne, rozłożyste pastwiska. I to wszystko jest otoczone pięknym, mieszanym lasem. I to był drugi taki punkt, gdzie można po prostu się zachwycić. Innego słowa nie mam. Po prostu stałam i się zachwycałam. The thing is about Gorlice, as much as you can experience within the realm of the city, the districts surrounding behold incredible treasures to discover, such as UNESCO World Heritage Sites, wooden churches that will stir you on a philosophical, emotional and spiritual level. Kościół w Senkowej to był pierwszy taki kościół, pierwsza taka budowla sakralna, w której miałam okazję być. Kilka szczegółów przykuło moją uwagę. Po pierwsze fakt, że w kościele nie było żadnych gwoździ w ścianach. Zbudowane było w dosyć specyficzny sposób, także bale było odpowiednio ciosane. I to, co jeszcze rzuciło mi się w oczy, to chrzcielnica, która podobnie jak kościół była stosunkowo wiekowa, a utrzymana w świetnym stanie. Hmm. This is like being transported in time. What an amazing feeling. So towards the end of the day, I wanted to take my girls for a beautiful, awe-inspiring sunset. I heard that there was a tower in the woods that overlooked a mountain range. Incredible. Daddy, this could be for you. The problem occurred when Google Maps did not really service the route. And uh, we came across a fork in the road. Jak my to przejdziemy? Tata chyba tak normalnie. Dobra, po prostu przejdę po bocie. Dobra, prawdę. Let's just choose to call this an adventure. You know, something that couldn't have been avoided. She said her intuition was to go the high road. But my intuition told me to go the low road. Here, closer, closer to daddy. Oh, Daddy, no, 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 Trochę utknął w łocie i zgobił buty. No! O no! O, to jest dezastr! O, Maciek! Operator i friend Maciek lost his shoes in the mud. O oh, no! Moje buty! Ci utknę moje buty w bagno? A to nie pierwszy raz. O Jezu. Ludzie mnie obrudziła, no popatrz. Kurczę. I nie wejdę do samochodu. A co tam z wujek? I chodziły w skarpetach. A ja przyznam, że to był błąd. Ok, I admit it. Sometimes I should listen to my wife. Jak czułam, że chcę wrócić od razu do hotelu. 
Dobrze, chodźcie dziewczynki, do i tak nie schodzimy. Jaki? I po prostu chciałam już spać. O co mi się już chciało zamknąć. I think that would just about summarize it for today. All that's left to do is tuck the kids in and leave them a nightlight. Because after all, Gorlice, it is the city of lights. Day number two. We woke up bright and early today and went right for the good stuff, boats. To jezioro wyglądało jak z bajki. Naokoło były góry, drzewa, lasy i pewnie też dużo zwierząt. Oh, and of course, I'm learning to be an American gentleman. <laughs> Slowly but surely. <laughs> so we got on the boats and uh, the kids were just having fun, free. Maczyliśmy stopy, chapaliśmy się, gadaliśmy. Jakbym siedziała na łodzi i oglądała jeden wielki obraz olejny. It was special because you could feel safe despite the fact that you were in the open water. I mean, life vest, slow moving vehicles, silent, calm water. It's a, it's, it's a treasure, actually. Machaliśmy do policjantów. Policjanci pływają pewnie po to, żeby było bezpiecznie. This is an interesting conundrum for me because I've got two daughters and a beautiful wife. All of them adore horses. If your kids love horses, this place will seem like a fairy tale. Mm, bardzo lubię konie, są bardzo fajne. Been some time since I heard your name. Mind and spirit just ain't the same All washed up in a shade of blue I'm sorry to interrupt the moment, but you probably didn't even realize we're at one of the largest horse stables for this type of breed in Europe. You took the color and made you move And I needed you to know that lately I need your love. The director of the horse stable was like, hey, we know this really cool field where uh, Wemkovian people used to live and you can actually experience the open, great nature and, and really feel their essence. Wemkovia, the people who lived here before the war. <laughs> Do zobaczenia. Nie ma Wemków po II wojnie światowej, tak? After the war, there weren't many of them left. They even claimed their own flag. Nie znajdziemy nigdzie w dokumentach, że ta flaga faktycznie jest przypisana. And I find their story to be very interesting. They had a wonderful place to live. Gdzie się trudało, bawiłam, krzyczałam. Let's go. Było tam słoneczko i tak świeciło i lubiłam się bawić na tym polu, było dużo miejsca. Już na stadninie koni huculskich widziałam, że u taty bateria się zaczyna kurczyć. Szybciutko zabrałyśmy tatę na dokarmianie. Finally, my favorite part of the day. Do świetnego miejsca do gospody magórskiej. Wystrój tej restauracji był taki miły. Obsługa też była bardzo miła. Były pierogi z kaszą gryczaną, była rybka, był dzik, który zły smakował. Uwielbiam jeść dzika, był takie pyszny. Imagine, these fried pancakes are made out of sauerkraut, and they're pretty good. It was like somehow familiar to Polish food, but twisted just enough. I would even say almost like a Middle Eastern zest to the cuisine. 
to měl být oběd rodinný, ale to chyba byla vrdě účta. It was exotic. Well, so after Kasha treated me to this really great meal, I decided I wanted to reciprocate. I took the children off her hands. We played on this huge outdoor chessboard, and she went for a kind of bathing sauna ritual. Actually, I don't know the specifics of what went on there, but uh, it sounded like it would be good. It was highly recommended, so uh, I signed her up for it. Já už kilka razy byłam w spa, tylko nie dostawałam masażów, ani maseczek błotnych, ani pedikuru, ani... Rzeczy, które dorośli robią. A, ah, I nearly forgot. Boris is not a dancer. He's a sauna master. He intensifies the sensation of the sauna experience. But the situation, it does look peculiar. And another unassuming thing that we did was visit a drinkery, as they call them in Poland, which in America, we don't have that, you know. Tam ten budynek, tam się piję wodę. This is like, kind of like what you drink at home, but much more healthy because it's fresh from the ground here. The boy brusek, to pomaga na brusek. Gdy coś się dzieje, to pomaga na to. Best vacation ever, right? Cheers. Jest bardzo zdrowa. Time is running out for us, and all our dreams will turn to dust. Never dream it'd be so hard. It's tearing me apart. Water. Without it, we wouldn't exist. Nor would the great times with family. Grilling. And there would be no... Tężnia. Tężnia? It's like a place where you can breathe in good salt air. What do you think about that? <laughs> so are you saying that even though you're 10 years old, you still want to go to the park and play with babies? Goo goo gaga. Good. <laughs> The really special takeaway that uh, I hope my children would remember is that the most harmonizing moments we had together as a family, the thing that united us was simply the lack of distractions of the outside world in such monumental spaces. I love this place, and I'll definitely return here. But what about you?